Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Case closed. Mueller says secret powers allow him to investigate Trump. Reagan appointed judge demolishes him. Robert Mueller was assigned as a special prosecutor in May of last year. His investigation was to bring to light whether or not the Trump election team colluded with the Russian government to help Trump get elected. So far, there has been very little investigating of Russian collusion and a lot of investigating Trump, his family and everyone who works for him. President Trump and GOP leaders have called on Jeff Sessions to close the investigation and stop the sweeping powers of the Mueller team. They believe that Mueller is acting way outside of the scope of the investigation and needs to be reeled in. Today in federal court, the Mueller team was harshly rebuked by U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis III, who was appointed by President Reagan. Fox News, a federal judge on Friday harshly rebuked special counsel Robert Mueller's team during a hearing for ex-Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, suggesting they lied about the scope of the investigation, are seeking unfettered power and are more interested in bringing down the president. You don't really care about Mr. Manafort, U.S. District Judge T.S. Ellis III told Mueller's team. You really care about what information Mr. Manafort can give you to lead you to Mr. Trump in an impeachment, or whatever. Further, Ellis demanded to see the unredacted Scope Memo, a document outlining the scope of the special counsel's Russia probe that congressional Republicans have also sought. The hearing, where Manafort's team fought to dismiss an 18-count indictment on tax and bank fraud-related charges, took a confrontational turn as it was revealed that at least some of the information in the investigation derived from an earlier Justice Department probe, in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Virginia. Manafort's attorneys argue the special counsel does not have the power to indict him on the charges they have brought, and seem to find a sympathetic ear with Ellis. The Reagan-appointed judge asked Mueller's team where they got the authority to indict Manafort on alleged crimes dating as far back as 2005. The special counsel argues that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein granted them broad authority in his May 2, 2017 letter appointing Mueller to this investigation. But after the revelation that the team is using information from the earlier DOJ probe, Ellis said that information did not arise out of the special counsel probe, and therefore may not be within the scope of that investigation. We don't want anyone with unfettered power, he said. Mueller's team says its authorities are laid out in documents including the August 2017 scope memo and that some powers are actually secret because they involve ongoing investigations and national security matters that cannot be publicly disclosed. Ellis seemed amused and not persuaded. He summed up the argument of the special counsel's office as, We said this was what, the, investigation was about, but we are not bound by it and we were lying. Judge Ellis might be the first voice of reason that we have heard out of any person on the federal side of anything. When the judge asked them how they felt they had the power to indict Manafort on alleged crimes dating back to 2005, they responded with, the scope of their powers are secret. Secret? According to The Hill, special counsel Robert Mueller is requesting 70 blank subpoenas ahead of the trial of former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort. Mueller is making the request for the subpoenas in the Alexandria, Virginia, court where Manafort is facing trial on several charges, including bank fraud. A spokesman for the special counsel confirmed to The Hill that the filing is an additional set of requests, after prosecutors previously requested 35 sets of blank subpoenas for the trial. If Mueller's powers remain unfettered, anyone around the president should be afraid. We have seen members of the FBI, and DOJ, at the highest levels lie to get this investigation started. Only Attorney General, Jeff Sessions can stop the wildfire. The only question is will he? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.